I'm gonna achieve such an incredible flight here. Look at the way your wheels start flying out from away from you. Oh my god! Ah, I can stick the landing. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is Elastomania, an absolutely incredible blast from the past from for me that we used to play on our high school computers or school computers back when I was like eight or nine years old. It was just a small free online game back in like 2000 that you could easily install on those computers and just play that instead of doing work. For the last 20 years, the creator of this game has literally just been emailing people keys when they send him money on his website and now after all this time it's being made properly available on steam it is going to seem like the simplest thing you have ever seen in your entire life it's incredible basically you can flip around to change directions uh you, you could you could do those little scoots to push yourself uh there's no reason for me to go over there you got to collect the apples first and then you go collect the flowers to to finish the level it may seem like wildly slow pace but that is like absolutely by design because the game becomes ridiculously complicated like that's the intro level it, it couldn't be simpler than that right look at that i get to be on the rankings because it's an early look at things and not many people have copies but this game has had an active speed running community yes this of all games with like it, trees that look like they were drawn in paint in about six seconds has had a 20 year long speed running community damn it your character can like touch things but not the head. That's like the main thing. Your your motorcycle dirt bike here bends and twists all over the place. But the main thing, the main thing you gotta worry about is not cracking your head. As long as you can protect the dome, then you should be fine. <laughs> Apparently I'm gonna have a lot of rust to shake off. Easily I haven't played this in 15 years, probably longer. And so it's really messing me up to suddenly come back to it. And I was really hoping I could show off a little bit. But also, I think I only ever had the, uh, no, I'm gonna miss the flower. Damn it. I don't even know what the flag is for. The flag is seemingly useless. It doesn't contribute anything. There's something like 54 levels, but the free demo had 18. And it's tough. It's tough to clear those 18 levels. There you go. You gotta kick up into it. I really, really don't understand what the point of the flower is. Check out this trick. No point going through the whole level when you can just take a quick... I'm trying, I'm trying to dive down. It's a level called Twin Peaks. I'm trying to duck down to this little apple here. Come on, don't hit your head. Don't get hung up to... Sometimes you want that. That's like a trick. That's a pro maneuver <laughs> to, to stretch out your wheels on a platform like that. All right, I'm gonna go the the long route around. I seem to recall that you know you can get much better times by taking that quick access point, but I'm just gonna die a thousand times if I try, try to commit to that. Now I'm also seeing that this isn't even the only apple. You can see in the mini map there, there's the red square, which is the apple, and the black square, which are these little spiky things that you have to avoid. Yeah, that, whatever that is. That nonsense, that non-real thing. In this otherwise very realistic dirt biking simulator, I'm trying to wheelie up the ramp. <laughs> I'm just making it harder for myself. Also an important part of this game over the last 20 years, oh, protect the head, is the fact, oh, this is what I'm trying to do, protect the head. Not only has it had speed running, uh, but it's become more directly competitive. Like, I, there's, I, you'll commonly hear people refer to the game as LM, so like the first two letters of the two words, Lastomania, L, L, no, Elma. Elma, did I say LM? It's L, Elma. And that is like a community-driven project where people have turned this into like this competitive 
crazy multiplayer version of this game where m many people are playing the game at once and trying to like survive and outdo each other and, and get better times and everything. So that's really cool because I, I think the Steam version will only help that community grow because now hopefully it can be properly integrated with Steam. I believe there's a level editor in this. And so then the, the Steam workshop and everything, like it's crazy. This game is 20 years old and it's going to be possibly more supported and have more hopefully engagement and, and contributions and like more active speed run, running and multiplayer and everything. You can also do local co-op trying to outdo each other in these levels, which seems like a fun thing. Might have to do that on the channel. But I'm just excited by the prospect that like this game might be bigger now than it was at its peak 20 years ago. There's just a lot of potential there. Oh, I was trying to correct myself to make it over that goddamn spiky bit. That's part of the appeal of going this way first, I think. I can't, I can't even put words to it, to what I'm trying to do there. I'm sure people watching it, you just see these dramatic failures and it makes no sense what, what I'm even attempting to do. I, I, I take it all back. This game has aged terribly. It's literally impossible. Couldn't be more difficult. That didn't count. Collect it. Collect the apple. No, 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 but don't die. Come on, man. I feel like this is the sort of game that people will see and think to themselves, like, this is nothing new. I've seen it a trillion times already. But to, like, the best of my knowledge, this is, like, one of the first to do it. So, like, anything you've seen that's similar is really stealing that from Elastomania. They owe it all to this goofy, weird, terrible fashion sensed dirt biking man. I've, I've never dirt biked in my life. I feel as though it's probably uncommon for a dirt bike to be rear wheel drive the way that this one is. Maybe somebody who knows what they're talking about can chime in. I might have to just shut my mouth and try to, to actually progress beyond this level. Skip level. You know what? Number of skips allowed five. I'm taking it. That was ridiculous how bad I was at that. I know that at some point in my life I've done it. I played through that those 18 levels of that demo a hundred times. But now, now I'm starting back at square one. Like, have you ever not played Guitar Hero for like years and years and years and tried to come back to it? Impossible. It, it can't be done. You lose it all. If you're not practicing and maintaining that skill, then you might as well have just never played ever. Oh my god, you're shitting me. Squeak it out. Good work. Good work boss. This is gonna go so much more miserably than that last attempt, isn't it? All right, you know what? Roll back. Get yourself in a nice cushy starting... whatever, restart. That's just as good. This is it. This is the one, though. It was beginner's luck, first time in level. Now I've found my groove. Years of skill flowing back into me from the Elastomania ancestry. It's no big deal. It's a simple game before video games even existed, basically. The year 2000, what came before it? Nothing important, I bet. This was it. This was this was the first important video game. So I think it's important that we paid its dues. Oh my god. Okay, now I have to go underneath all that, and I'm very terrified, because now all of a sudden I like don't know what's ahead of me. The minimap doesn't do a lot to like prepare you. And then it just chucks your head straight up against, uh, I was gonna say cement, but it's very squiggly and purple, but somehow grass is still growing on it. <laughs> so I guess it's some kind of soil. Very curious about the art in this game. Cause it's like, yeah, to some extent, yeah, there's like effort put in there for sure. I can see it. But at the same time, it's also like, has this feeling of like, that was the first pass. And it was like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I want it to look. This is good. We'll run with this. But yeah, I I just love it. To me, the nostalgia of it, it, it adds. It only adds to the game. <laughs> Something I didn't want to spend at the beginning of the video advertising too heavily. I tried to slow down the jumps so that I didn't launch over the spike after it. I, I'm so fascinated by the history of this game and the fact that it's endured for 20 years. 
how absurd is that? That I'm actually in the middle of working on like a history of Elastomania video that I'm hoping will be on the second channel sometime in the middle of the week here. And I'm hoping I'll, I'll be over this little hill that's in front of me by the end of this week. We'll see which comes first, that video or climbing over this hill. Oh my God. I'm just gonna roll you over, man. It's a write-off. Stop trying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think that'll be fun and hopefully will help people better appreciate like this seemingly simple essentially flash game why it's become what it what it has i'm doing another skip just so we can show off some more of the game i'm trying i'm actually so excited in my in my personal time to like spend more time in this game and, and try and like complete all of these challenges again. Oh, you don't wanna don't wanna shift too many times. Gotta let the bike land, do its thing, gain back the traction. Oh, <laughs> what is that? The third level I've actually beaten a hill battle. Actually, do you know what? Show me show me the the best times. Ah, uh, because the game's this is like an early look at things, so it's I can't access that properly yet. <laughs> But my, my time's not good. It's not good, I'll say. It's helpful that you can uh, look at like local times and steam times and everything. I thought it would be good to build up some speed there and there's just really not the room to do that, is there? Back tire, catch the apple. Ah. <laughs> there's like so much of a delay. What was this level called? Long haul? I'll never do it. <laughs> I don't stand a chance. If it's longer than a 10 second level, I'll die a thousand times and I'll never, never reach the true end. Oh, this seems like a dangerous drop. Oh, not dangerous at all. It's a freebie. It's an easy way to gain an apple. Now we're cooking, aren't we? Mm, I'm gonna go for this lower one first because I don't really see how I get up to that other one from the, the platform I was coming off of. Here's, here's where the levels start getting nuts. Light, gentle drop. Don't want to overshoot it because I'll miss this nice, easily accessible thing. I just noticed the rainbow flag or whatever it is mud flap on the back of this. You might be able to rock it or launch yourself off that enough to gain that higher apple. You might have to do it that way even. Yeah, get some speed built up and then ruin it entirely. That's the that's the solution. All these years. It's literally the first time I've noticed that goofy ass bit of rainbow on the back there. I don't know how I never saw it before. Alright, boss, this is the one. <laughs> Or we can spin out in place for like a, a whole bunch longer if you want. Either one. I'm, I'm resetting. Very much not gonna make it on that attempt. I'm thinking now of how much I'm struggling with this, how many more levels there are to go, how few I've successfully completed, and the fact that I only ever played the, the free demo version with these 18 levels. What happens? with the other three quarters of the levels, or two thirds or whatever it works out to. Like, they get so ridiculously complicated and hard as is. I'm gonna achieve such an incredible flight here. Look at the way your wheels start flying out from away from you. Oh my God. Ah, oh, I could stick the landing. <laughs> seemed reasonable. It's just difficult and I'm excited about it and I'm so so hopeful that everyone else can see the appeal of this stupid frustrating little game. <laughs> I really wanted to find like second life so that the the community becomes massive again, contributes all sorts of uh, unique levels and things to the to, to this wonderful game and creates new speed running attempts and and invents new routes and things to, to beat the game and, I don't know, expand it. Not necessarily a sequel, but like uh, an improved remastered option and console releases. I don't know. Anything. I just love so much about this game. I feel like I'm gonna die, so I'm just committing to getting the, the circles in. Alright, you want you want high flyer? That's what we're going for here. We're gonna we're gonna well and truly max that out. We'll figure out getting this lonely island apple after the fact. Right now it's all about perfectly building up this speed. 
That was flawless. Flawless execution of the corner there. And now it's all about getting the circles in. Oh, I touched the roof. Touch the roof. We got close. I was quite excited about it. All right. Look at that form. You're just kind of asking to die, goofing around like that. Like, there's no, no saving it. Did I earn a skip back by actually completing one level? I might have. Okay, I, d I don't know how to get that apple. But this one, I totally know what needs to be done. I just don't. Don't imagine I have the personal skill, but this is what I'm remembering most about the game, is where the levels start really taking advantage of the incredibly janky physics. <laughs> like, physics that's been pretty well perfected. They really, they really figured out the jank here. Stall, quick stall, change, and, oh wait, the wrong tire. <laughs> right. If you switch like that, then the wrong tire becomes the back tire. All right, that was my first mistake. Don't switch. Oh, maybe that was my mistake, is maybe I'm not supposed to drive. Not not drive, but turn the wheel to move across that platform. You might just have to shimmy, shimmy your way across, like the way Serge Tankian likes. That's such a weird reference that I don't expect anyone to, to fully understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> That was the only way I could think to grab that. Oh, I'm weirdly proud of that. <laughs> it was like not great or anything. Ooh, they hid the flower there. Right at the beginning, making it tricky for ya. Well, this just seems, let's bail on it. Seems impossible. See, I bet there's nothing important that way anyways. Seems like inevitable death. Instead, let's take a quick stop over here. Hey, look at that, a mushroom. The environments in this game, incredible. I bet you didn't expect them to get quite so complicated and diverse. There's some hanging vine things, some rocky soil, coniferous seeming trees. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. What can I tell you? If you guys weren't aware of that already, then I'm sorry, but you just don't know video games. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious to you. Tunnel Terror, but Phil had previously skipped level to, to earn another skip. That's, that's how you go about it. Ah, here's the editor, which I have never played around with. <laughs> Apparently you have to successfully complete, complete five levels to actually try it. But essentially it, it's everything that you would have seen in the regular game, like that level of complexity that's allowed. Apples, spikes, weird, difficult, bending, platforming, and then the flower at the end. The flag is just where you start. I don't know what the flag is for. Doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm very excited for people to go wild with that. Like Mario Maker level out of control creativity. That's what I'm most excited about, honestly. Anyways, guys, this game is goofy. It's janky. The menus are not pretty. Nothing about the game is truly pretty, but it's, it's special and the community behind it is so great. So I really want to do my part to to help share this game and, and introduce it to like a new generation of gamers. So please go check it out for yourself. I'll have a link down below. The game is out now. I think it's totally worth it. You'll get insane amounts of fun and maybe you discover that same like love and passion that I had for it way back in the day. I would love to play this again on the channel with some co-op. Here's hoping we get a chance to do that soon because I think it would be really funny. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.